Howdy guys, IndiePixel here, and in this next video in the Intro to Python series for Houdini, I wanted to dive a little deeper and show you guys how we can go about automating the export of all these particular barrels. So what I did is I went ahead and just created a really uh, basic procedural barrel here. All right, and I promoted a bunch of uh, parameters here so we can go and change some of these uh, values. It looks like I forgot to hook one of those guys up. Let me actually see here. And it looks like I'm just doing the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> All right, so now we've got, you know, our procedural barrel. I can change, you know, quite a few of the, the properties here. But this particular video is not necessarily about creating HDAs. It's about using Python to automate it. So let's just set up the, the case or the scenario here. So basically, I've got a bunch of HDAs over here, a bunch of uh, barrel assets that I've gone ahead and created uh, using an HDA, a bunch of different variations, all right? And so each one of these basically represents um, a barrel. And I've gone and changed, you know, the parameters just so I have different um, variations of each of these, all right? And now, instead of having to go and, you know, export each one of these, I went ahead and I created a tab on the HDAs up here that allows me to go and export the FBX file to unity all right so this is the path to my unity project okay so if we come over here to unity you can see i have all my barrels in here and now i i really don't want to have to go through let's say i have like a hundred of these barrels all different variations i don't want to have to go and select each one of these and hit export basically uh, we can use python to go and automate all of that all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come in here and i'm just going to blow these guys away just so we start fresh you know a lot of these guys way out of the, the hierarchy view there. All right, and we're going to go back into Houdini, and let's start with a new scene. So I'm going to go and save this guy. All right, cool. Now let's go and create another version of that barrel. So I'm going to import that digital asset, and I placed it inside of my desktop here. Let's go to... There we go. And we have assets and there is my HDA. So I'm going to import and create this. So install and create. Awesome. So now I have a barrel. All right. So let's just go and create some variations and the noise on this guy is a little bit high for me. All right. And let's go and add maybe another set of rings there. And we'll call that good for that guy. All right. So what I'm going to do is just go and alt click and drag to make a copy of this. So now we have another barrel. Let's turn that guy off. And let's go and make this one like a blue barrel, like so. And we'll put this back down to a height of one. All right, maybe we say it just has the four rings. All right, so let's make another copy. All right, so the whole idea here is that I'm just making a bunch of variations. I'm going to go and make this guy red. And maybe we'll adjust the fall off a little bit on this guy. And maybe intensify the noise a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good when we add lots of rings to this one. Awesome. All right, we'll do one more variation. So now we have barrel four. Cool. Let's make this one kind of tiny. So we'll do 0.8. Let's turn this guy off so we can see it. And let's go and make this one, I don't know, like a, maybe a really orangish color like that. Yeah, I think that'll work for now. Let's make, actually turn down some of those guys. Awesome. Now we have kind of a stumpy one. So now we have a bunch of barrels here that we want to export to our game engine. Now, it's totally possible, because I only really only have four here, but it's totally possible to come in here and just go and export and stuff like that. But we can actually automate that with the script. So let's go and let's come in here and launch the Python source editor. All right, so just like we did in the last video, uh, we went and created a function inside of the who.session module. All right, so we're basically going to do the same thing. We're just going to keep it simple. All right, we're not going to dive uh, into creating user interfaces, you know, like a floating window or anything like that. Let's just keep it basic for now so we can understand what's happening with the code. So I'm going to write out def. And we're going to say export all barrels, something like that. All right, so now we've got our function all set up. And what I need to do first is I need to get access to the OBJ um, object. All right. So we at least need to get access to this space right here where all these nodes exist and that's OBJ. So again, to do that, we're going to type out the variable name OBJ. 
All right, we're going to store obj, the obj node inside of this variable. And we're going to say who dot node, and we're going to type out obj like so. So we're going to say obj, and there we go. All right, so now inside of that, what I want to do is I want to find out what nodes are basically inside of obj. Okay, and to do that, it's actually quite simple. We can say, uh, we, and we're also going to have to store all this stuff too. So we can say children, all right, that's the variable name. And we're going to say uh, obj dot children, like that. And with that, we basically have everything all set up. So I could go in here and I could say print uh, children, just to see what we get. All right, so I'm going to hit apply on that. And then I'm going to say who dot session down here in the Python shell, okay? Who dot session dot export all barrels. And look at that. We get a list of all the barrels that are contained within the OBJ space. All right, so we have access to all that. Now, uh, what we want to do here is we want to loop through each one of those nodes now and basically press the export button automatically. All right. Um, instead of having to go through manually and press that, I just want to roll through all these nodes since I have access to them now inside of this children variable. I just want to go through and press that button using Python. Okay, so first let's set up a, a for loop. So we're going to say for node in children. All right, that's your standard for loop inside of Python right there. And we're basically saying uh, for all the children inside of this variable, all right, we're going to store it into node. So each for each one of the nodes that are in here. So we're, we're going to loop through each one. We're going to sort in node, which means then that we can get access to the node's parameters down here. Okay, so first let's um, let's make a variable called node name, and I'm going to call this node dot name, or I'm going to get the name from the current node that we're on, and let let's just print that so we can see what the result is. So we're going to say print node name, like so, hit apply, and then down here in the Python shell, just hit up once to get to your last function call, and look at that. I have the name of each of the barrels. All right, so we can now work on each barrel individually and do a lot of things. I mean, you can interface with all these parameters through Python. Uh, in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to set our output path and then we're going to hit the button. Okay, so to do that, before we actually go and export it, we need a, a location. Okay, and I'm just going to hard code that into my Python code just for this example. Obviously, you'd want to be able to change that dynamically. So that's when you're going to need some sort of UI um, for this. All right, so let's just go into uh, Unity over here. And I'm going to go select my barrels folder here, and I'm just going to say show and explore. That way I can get the, the path here to all that. All right, so I'm going to select that path, or just do a control C to copy it. And I'm going to go back to Houdini over here, and we are going to say, we're going to create another variable. We're going to call this um, path. And that's going to be equal to that path that we just copied. All right. And we're going to have to make sure all these guys are all changed so we get the proper pathing for this. Again, you know, I'm just keeping this really basic. Um, you're going to, you would want to, you know, in, a, in an actual production, you'd want to set this to be uh, dynamic. All right. And I want to make sure that I send it to the barrels folder. So I'm just going to do that. Awesome. Cool. So now let's come down, down to our for loop down here and let's start to put together the final path uh, for all these guys. Okay. So I'm going to say final path is equal to our path uh, plus our node name. All right. Plus dot FBX. All right. I need to put that there so that we, it knows that we're going to export this to an FBX file. All right, and so let's print that now. We're going to say final path for the print function. Hit apply. Come down to our Python shell. Hit up on the keyboard once. And look at that. We now have all the paths. All right, so we're going to send our FBX files. Once each node is done exporting it, we're going to send it over to Unity. Okay? Awesome. So with that final path information in place, what we need to do is we need to access this parameter. Okay, and to do that, we need to know what the name of this parameter is. So in this case, the parameter is SOP output. All right, so if you just hover over any of these guys, you can find what the parameter name is. And that, that's that internal name that we need. Okay, so to set that particular path on the node, we're going to say over here in our Python source editor, we're going to say node, all right, dot parm for parameter, 
All right, and we are going to go and say uh, dot set, and we actually need to put in the name here first before we set it. So remember that parameter was sop output, like so. We're going to say dot set, and we're going to set it to our final path. How cool is that? All right, and I'm actually going to just comment that out for now. So I'm going to hit apply, and we're going to go and test this out. So if everything goes well, we should get a proper path for each one of our nodes now without having to set it manually. All right, so let's try this out. So I'm going to come back down to the Python shell, hit up once, hit enter, and look at that. All the nodes now have their proper export paths. Super cool. So all we need to do now is just go and basically hit this button. Okay, so how do we do that? We're going to say node.parm. All right, so we need to get the name of that parameter, this button parameter. That parameter is execute. Okay, so we just type that in here. So you say execute. And we say for a button parameter, we have to utilize the press button function. Okay, so we say press a button like that. Cool, we're going to hit apply. And with that all done, we should have our automated exporting all finished up. So I'm going to hit up once in the Python shell, then hit enter. And you can see it took a little bit longer, right? It kind of hung there for a little bit. So if I go to Unity now, you can see we just exported all of our barrels. Pretty cool. So all these guys now need all their materials hooked up. We could actually go and uh, over to the model here, and I'm going to have to set this to 100. Now, obviously, you can do that inside of your HDAs as well. All right. Uh, for the materials, I'm going to go and just set this because I created a material using Amplify uh, to basically just shade each of these objects with their vertex colors. You know, just something simple for now. So I'm just going to go to the third one here and assign the material, then to the fourth, and assign the material there. Awesome. So with that, we can go now and just drag and drop those into the scene and just space them out a little bit. All right, pretty cool stuff. And that, my friends, is how you go about automating your export. Now, obviously, this is a very, very simple example, but hopefully it gives you a little bit of insight in how to start to work with parameters using Python, how to, you know, set up your automated pipelines for your games. Um, you can have a lot of functions inside of uh, Houdini here, inside of the session module. So you could say maybe this particular hip file is your prop scene. Okay, and you can go for and look for all HDAs that are of type barrel, right? Because remember, all of your HDAs have an internal name as well. So you could look for that type. Um, you know, we could come over here actually and, and do that. So I don't need to export again. So I'm just going to uh, comment those two out. So what we could do is we could say something like uh, node.type. Just print that. Hit apply. And you can see that the node type is IP barrel 001. All right, that's that name. So you could look for that specific name. That's the internal um, HDA name. All right, so this could be your, your props hip scene, and you could have all your exporting stuff up here, and then basically use the Python shell to fire it off. Or you could make a, a shelf for this, you know, and just have, have your little shelf like we went over in the last video. You can go and hit the button, and it would export all your barrels. And let's say you had, you know, a bunch of, I don't know, crates. You could have another tool up here that says export all your crates kind of thing. So with that, I'm going to leave you guys there. Hopefully um, that helped you guys out a little bit, gave you a little more insight about Python and how to use it inside of Houdini. Super powerful. And I mean, like I said, we've really only scratched the surface. This is just a very basic example. So thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate all the support. See you soon.